Fall City Kids, it's so great to be with you this Sunday and I have fantastic news and that is that we have heard from the governor that Indiana is going to start opening things up and we will get to see each other in person really soon. I can't wait to greet you all with a great big hug and a smile and to see your smiling faces. I'm really excited for that. Today we're going to do another quick little object lesson. I start thinking about sometimes when things are going on in the world, people say, well, if God is real, then why would he let these things happen? And I know we can't see God himself, but we can see things that go on around us through God's works. So I'm going to show you a little um, experiment that I have first. So I've got a little piece of paper here. And I know you all tease me because I like to use things that have flames. I think it's the light of God. I don't know. Maybe that's what inspires me. But I've got a candle here. And I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to pass it carefully over my candle. I'm not touching the flame to the paper. I'm just passing it over. I tried this with um, a hair dryer on high and it may work if yours gets hotter than mine you might be able to use a hair dryer I wasn't able to mine didn't get quite get hot enough but that's okay we're going with the candle route I also thought about doing campfire God lessons and talking in front of the campfire but that might be fun so maybe if you try that out, try this at home you can do it around the campfire with, with your family, with an adult. If you can kind of see, I'm getting a secret message that is appearing to me on my, what looked like a blank piece of paper. So I'm gonna keep going over it. While I'm going over this, I'm gonna go over, oh, I got another letter. G, oh, I bet you can guess what's next. While I am going over this with the heat, to talk to you and read a couple of verses to you. The first one is from Romans 8 28 and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. So we know that even though some things happen that we don't want to happen or we may not enjoy we know that all things happen for God's good purpose. I have the word God so far on my paper. See if you can start guessing what's gonna come next. So, even though that there are bad things that happen in this world, we know that everything comes together for God's work and God's purpose. And sometimes we have to remind ourselves of that. And sometimes it's not easy for us to remember. Here's, oh, I got another letter coming. Two letters coming. I will show that to you as soon as, oh, there. I've got an L and a heart. See if you can, if you're guessing, you can comment down below and see if you can, who's, who'll be the first one to guess what our secret message is. So I also want to talk to you about a couple of other verses while I'm doing this. In Isaiah 41.10, the Bible says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So we know that even though we can't always see God with us, not with our eyes, but we can feel him with our heart. We can see him through the works of other people around us. Maybe somebody who lifts your spirits when you're feeling down or somebody who is there for you. Maybe somebody who um, sticks up for you when you need it or just somebody to talk to. God shows up in a lot of ways in our life. So, oh, I think I've got it. It says, oh, oh, I'm missing one letter. One letter, we're almost there. I wonder how many of you have the message yet. I bet some of you have already guessed it. Oh, here's the last letter. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And I did not light the paper on fire. You guys, I'm too proud of me. God loves you. So even though this paper looked like it was blank, just like sometimes we feel like we can't see God, 
God is always here with us, even if we can't see him. Sometimes we have to look for him in the acts of others and the things that others are doing around us. I want to read one more um, verse from the Bible, Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. We've been talking about Easter last month, and we talked about Jesus is being resurrected but we know that when he walked on the earth for 40 days before he was ascended into heaven we know he left us with instructions and one of those instructions was to share the gospel with others to baptize them to tell them about the love of Jesus so the message I wanted to send with you today is you be that message for the world you be how they see Jesus' love and God's love for you by your works and the things that you do and say to make others see his love and, and his love for them. If you are wanting to do our little object lesson at home, I will show you real quickly how to do that. You just take a plain old piece of paper and then my secret trick was lemon juice. So you may even have lemons or sitting around the house, all I did was juice one lemon and take a Q-tip, dip it in my lemon juice, and then you can write, write on your paper. I let mine dry first, but you actually don't even have to let it dry all the way. And then you pass it over something warm, a light, or if your hair dryer gets warm enough, with the help of an adult, see if I, whoop, I got a little close but it'll start to show up your secret message and you can make a secret message too. Maybe you could leave a secret message for a friend or a neighbor. Maybe you could do something kind this week for someone else to show them God's love. I'm gonna pray with you before we end today. Lord, thank you for this time that we have together. I am grateful for each one of these kids and their parents, Lord. Thank you for keeping us safe and healthy. Please be us, with us this week. Help us to spread your love and show your love to others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great week. I can't wait to see you in person. It's coming soon. See you later. Bye.